Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, I began the process of making over my living room space. I had a vision of building out my own built-ins and with hard work and dedication, I turned my vision into a reality. Now it was finally time to tackle the rest of the space and the fun part, which was making everything pretty. Before we get started, I want to thank Ruggable for sponsoring today's video. What's so cool about Ruggable is that their rugs are machine washable. Think about that for a second. If you're anything like me, if you have pets, kids, small children, you know that it's an endless spree of just things being spilled over, vacuuming up endless pet hair, or even just dirt that we bring into our homes every single day from outside. So without a doubt, being able to grab your rug and throw it into the washer is a great way to be able to keep your home clean. Ruggable rugs come with a non-slip rug pad that you lay down first and then you lay your rug cover on top. It makes it super easy and simple to remove and throw it in the washing machine when you need to. The rug covers are interchangeable, which is also super great because if you have multiple and you want to switch things up, you easily can. I chose a Cameron rug in the color Hazel because I love all the small details in the rug itself. And I think the color scheme in the rug is really going to tie together really, really well with the built-ins that we recently built in the living room. And also just the overall look that I'm going for for the aesthetic. And it's going to come together really, really nicely. All of the colors implemented into this rug are all of the neutral colors that I really really enjoy and I think that this is gonna look great so be sure to stick around until the end of the video so that you can see it all come together if you're interested in Ruggable be sure to check out the link down in the description and use the code Glenda Chavez 10 for 10% off your order now let's go ahead and get started on this makeover in last week's video I finished off the built-ins but I didn't put molding on the top because I wasn't sure which kind I wanted I ended up deciding on just adding a 1x4 mitered prime pine around the top because it looked more modern and a traditional crown molding felt like it was aging the built-ins which was exactly what I was trying to avoid. I made sure to caulk all of the seams to make them look finished before adding a coat of paint. Initially, I wasn't going to be painting the living room because I liked the color, but I did have some leftover paint from when I made over my bedroom, so I went ahead and used it. It was just the right amount too. I always like to cut in all of the edges first before going in with a roller. I wanted to recreate this coffee table using some old barn wood I had from where we tore down one of the old shops on our property, but then I quickly realized that that was not going to happen because the wood was too heavy. So instead, I decided to recreate the look of this one for much, much cheaper. I measured my ottoman and cut the three pieces out of three quarter inch plywood. Once all three pieces were cut, I moved on to sanding them down smooth with 120 and then 220 grit.
The raw edges I covered with some birch iron on edge banding and then trimmed off any excess. To put the pieces together, I wood glued and brad nailed them in place and then used some one and a half inch L brackets to secure everything. I added some wood conditioner to ensure an even stain, waited 30 minutes, and then used my favorite color stain, Special Walnut. I sealed the wood in feed and wax and made sure to follow the instructions applying it, waiting 30 minutes, and then removing the excess. I think this is such a fun, cool project that elevates a space and it is so inexpensive that you could easily recreate this yourself. One of the more costly items for this makeover would have been to get new sofas, but I didn't want to invest in any new ones just yet, and if you have small kids, then you know. So I found some sofa covers on Amazon that looked pretty promising. I chose this specific one because it came with each individual cushion cover instead of just one huge cover, making it look like a real sofa as opposed to just kind of like a blanket over the sofa. I struggled a bit at first to put it on because I didn't read the instructions so learn from me and read the instructions because it had some red tags on it that were labeled back so you knew which side should go to the back. I played around with the arrangement of the sofas quite a bit because I was trying to avoid putting the longer one in front of the window just to allow more natural light into the house. Now eventually we will be adding some recessed lighting and maybe even a fixture to the middle of the living room but that is going to be an expense that I am trying to hold off on um, at least just for a little while longer. And we don't naturally get a lot of sunlight because we have a lot of trees surrounding the house but adding the sofa to the front of the windows just kind of seemed counterproductive to allowing more light into the house and I felt that if I didn't leave the sofa in front of the windows then it would allow for more light to come in but ultimately I felt like it looked best that way I, I don't know a great thing is it's not permanent so I can always move things around as I need or want I picked up these vases from a local thrift store with the intention of painting them to match my aesthetic. 
I used Kale's chalk paint to cover them completely and then the one with the handles I used several shades of tan, khaki, and gray to add more of a worn cement look. I also had this lamp that I had picked up from an auction over a year ago that I had never had a chance to redo until now. I converted some leftover latex paint into chalk paint and then stippled it onto the base making sure to leave some of the original finish exposed. Then I added different shades of gray, blacks, khakis to add more dimension and again to go for that worn cement look. Next, it was time to switch out the curtains. After installing the rod, I realized that it wasn't going to be long enough. I should have measured and I didn't which again, learn from me, just take the extra time to measure things before you go out and buy stuff. But um, it was this one from Target that I had chose, so I removed it and installed this one from Ikea instead. This one gave me an extra 30 inches to play with and it was the perfect size. The curtains are also from Ikea and they are super affordable. It was a lot cheaper too, even with all of the brackets and the rings. I had ordered the ottoman cover at a later time than the sofa covers, so when it came in, I put it on and it fit really, really well. Just like in the inspiration picture, I added the wood table right over top. As with a lot of my makeovers, I try my best to use refinished, use secondhand items as much as possible. I came across this vintage side table that I thought would add a nice natural wood element to the room. All I did was clean it up a bit and place it in the corner to hold the lamp.
fiddle leaf fig I am hoping gets big enough to one day cover the whole corner which is why this corner is kind of a little bit empty I left it like that purposely because I'm keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that it continues to grow and thrive and get bigger over time Etsy always has printable vintage inspired art that you print at a very low cost but I was fortunate enough to find these two at my local thrift stores for about ten dollars so I picked those up instead I added and removed and played around with the placement of the decor on the shelves because before I was satisfied with how it looked. I can always add or remove things as time goes on, but I was really happy with all of the thrifted finds. So let's remember what we started with and how this living room used to look like and what it looks like now. As always, I'm so thankful for your continued support of this channel and my projects, and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. I have a full playlist of makeovers on my channel so you can see how far we've gotten into turning our house into a home. I love y'all, be kind, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!